Hi, my name is Joanna Robson. I'm an equine integrated veterinarian based in Napa, California, and I need your help. In January of 2012, I had the amazing honor of traveling to Myanmar, formerly known as Burma. I traveled with a small group of individuals on an intensive cultural pilgrimage. We had the opportunity to visit with both villagers and to travel through the amazing landmarks. In this beautiful land, one of the things that struck me most deeply was the disease and poverty. Not only are the people in a terrible state as a result of being governed by a military junta for the last 50 years, I was struck by the incredible animal overpopulation, puppies dying in gutters, zoonotic diseases such as mange and rabies. From my own personal background as a veterinarian, I was called to action. I have to make a difference in this country. Unlike other countries around the world that have the ability to get outside aid from nonprofit organizations, Burma has been incredibly isolated. Myanmar does have its own veterinary school and an agricultural university, but to date, there's actually not much going on in the country as far as animal health. In order to deal with these zoonotic diseases, and the rampant overpopulation of street dogs. Unfortunately, animals were butchered. There's also a rampant issue with the working equids. These include predominantly cart ponies. While many of the villagers rely on these ponies and these horses to provide income for their families, the animals are worked incredibly long hours, oftentimes from hours before dawn until well after midnight, typically carting tourists to different landmark areas. These ponies and horses are oftentimes in ill-fitting harness. I saw a number of animals that were suffering from eye trauma and diseases, including wounds, and also a lack of any kind of dental care and proper hoof husbandry. I was also deeply struck by how much these villagers cared for their horses. The problem for them is they don't have access to any resources. My personal goal is to raise a sum of $15,000 this money will specifically be used to begin purchasing and procuring veterinary equipment necessary to make a difference for both street dog overpopulation and the working equid population. Equipment that's needed are things like basic medications, anesthetic machines, antibiotics. I need the financial support both logistically and to procure the equipment, but also to be able to work alongside other organizations with experience, such as the American Association of Equine Practitioners Equitarian Project, Humane Society International, and the World Society for Protection of Animals. These organizations have similar programs in adoption throughout other countries in the world, but nobody's going into Burma, and this is a country that really needs our help. On a positive note, I have contacts already on the ground within the country, and I also have a connection to somebody within the consulate. I have the ability to get the equipment into the country. One of the most important features of this personal endeavor is sustainability. The object isn't to go in and just drop off a bunch of equipment and to make a difference and then leave, but to actually help these people to continue on in this process, to make a difference in their own villages and potentially the entire country as a whole. And most importantly, to create a welfare for these animals that are struggling to survive, that are constantly engaged in territorial battles, young animals that are pregnant from the time they can first be bred until when they die, horses that are working sun up to sun down, carting tourists and improper equipment, and these are things that can all be changed. You just need your support to do it. Thank you so much for watching this, for your consideration and your support, and for helping me to make my dream of helping them become a reality.